Guys, fly knit or prime knit? Leave a comment down below. We need to get to the bottom of this. Yo, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm bringing you a sneaker review on the Nike Flyknit trainers that are releasing on August 24th, 2017. Before we even start this video, I want to give a huge shout out to the Fix Kicks for holding me down this pair right here. They were able to get their hands on them a little bit early, so if you guys want to drop by the shop, make sure to do so if y'all are locals. The address will be down below in the description if y'all haven't been there before. And if you guys want to purchase online, I will have their purchase link down below as well with a bunch of early links. Hopefully y'all enjoy that. Now let's get right into the sneaker. Ah, so the Flyknit Trainers, man. These originally released in 2000. And 12 if my memory is still running strong when they released back in the day they sold pretty well and they came in the original orange Nike box now when we're seeing them in 2017 we're greeted with a red Nike sportswear box which is pretty common nowadays this sneaker is going to retail for the price of $150 and like I said I'll have all the links down below in the description if I'm able to get the early links for you I'm not sure exactly where these will be releasing but I do have a feeling that these shoes will sell out I'm basing all of my predictions off of the fact that the box services that are being promoted for this pair right here has been so heavy and I feel like that's because they have limited quantities again this time that it's releasing usually bot services do not offer add to carts unless a sneaker is limited and they feel like it is going to sell out so that gives me the feeling that it's going to have a high chance of selling out and potentially reselling besides the hype of these sneakers man just look at them a clean and classic look for the Nike Flyknit trainers you have black and white Flyknit running along the toes and it's just interwoven goodness just straight crispiness I feel like the knit is a little bit more tight on this Flyknit trainer versus the Flyknit racer and it has a little more comfort in my opinion although the sneaker looks pretty simple they did add a pretty good amount of details that I would like to touch on to top off this sneaker so one of the things that I noticed when pulling out the insole is that inside when you pull this out the tag that usually sits on the inside of a sneaker is attached to the insole this time so it's almost as if they want you to pull it up it's acting like a pull tab and when you pull it up you get a beautiful black insole usually with white sneakers they like to top it off with a white insole and i absolutely hate that but anyways taking a look at the inside of the sneaker you have a volt bottom right here and on the inside it says 2012 so it shows that they're paying homage to the year of 2012 even back with the original colorways like the volt colorway the other black and white version and i want to say that this one has a high chance of selling out because it is also linked with kanye west and you guys know how that goes when kanye wears something it is just going to blow up and everybody's gonna want it and i could picture it like about four five years ago kanye west was seen wearing these sneakers and a lot lot of people went crazy for them and that's kind of how the resale value kind of emerged for this sneaker right here in all honesty I feel like it's a dope shoe definitely not as comfortable as ultra boost and if you guys have wide feet I would recommend sizing up a half size so I usually wear a size 10 I went to a 10 and a half on this one because my feet are a little bit wider this is a more narrow build right here but it does look like a great shoe they added the nice pinstripe on the midsoles as well as these lines that prevent it from doing that midsole crease but yeah it's a pretty light shoe in terms of looks I prefer these over the ultra boost but in terms of comfort I'm gonna have to give it to the ultra boost and if you guys are wondering about the differences between this version and the original version there are just some slight differences on the top by this collar part I believe on the OG's it's a black collar but on these it's a white and I'm basing this purely off of memory so if i'm wrong i do apologize and lastly i believe that these are the same on the ogs we have the black fly wire running all the way up the shoe on the mid panel connecting to all of these lace holes right here so let me know if you guys are going to be going for these shoes again 150 dollars probably 170 after tax and shipping is it worth it man would you rather have this pair or a pair of ultra boost you guys let me know in the comment section down below let's throw these babies on feet if you guys like this video make sure to hit that like button follow Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat. I will have those links down below in the description as well. Catch y'all in the next video. It's your boy Sneakerhead in the Bay. I'm out. Peace. Ten damn days. And all I got to show for me the shoes and shows and show first with roll rage. So the same damn ad lip. Ah, always. Still got
gotta let him in, no practice Still gotta burn him in, no lacking Still a lot of jams, nigga, no jacks No joy, we so tagging I'm taking to the land with a leg made of sand And the milk don't pour and the honey don't dance And the money ain't yours That's the red pills Got a blue and a handful of Advils I'm the new nitty, fucking nitty to hold me So I'ma tell the buyer what nitty told me I got that, mm, mm I got that goddamn I'm your pusher man I'm your, I'm your pusher man I'm your pusher man. I'm your, I'm your pusher man. I got that.